What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 10 video. Now, today's video is gonna be talking about a particular Pokemon that you might find in a restricted format to be surprisingly useful. Now, if you haven't played previous restricted formats, this is gonna be a so, sort of a shocker, honestly, uh, but it's no big deal to anyone who has played previously. Now, this Pokemon is Shedinja. I know, right? A Pokemon that dies in one hit. Now, here's the thing. Shedinja is actually phenomenal in a restricted format because of how well it partners with Kyogre and how well it's able to wall out various restricted Pokemon, especially in this format where most restricted Pokemon that are common can't hit it. Now, before we get into that, if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content. And answer my comment question of the day, what is your favorite bug type to use in VGC? I'm a big fan of Volcarona, but I have used Golisopod on occasion. I'm someone who likes to build outside the box, but this Pokemon isn't exactly building outside the box. In fact, it can be one of the most frustrating Pokemon in the game. So yeah, Shedinja is a crazy Pokemon. It's a bug and ghost type with the stat spread of 45 defense, 30 special attack, 30 special defense, and 40 speed with a whopping 1 HP. Now, that isn't, that isn't exactly 1 HP because the HP stat doesn't get increased by IVs or anything. You can invest into it all you want, but it will never, it will never go past 1. You can't increase it. So you're pretty much always going to run this guy with a Focus Sash. So what makes it so useful? Well, it has the ability Wonder Guard, which means it can't be damaged by any direct damaging moves that aren't super effective. Being Bug and Ghost, that means that you can hit this thing with Rock, Fire, Flying, Dark, and Ghost type moves. I believe that's it. I might be missing one. Um, but yeah, obviously it isn't the most powerful Pokemon offensively with only 90 attack and its two stabs being somewhat okay, but not the best. So why is it so good? Well, if we actually look at it on paper, this Pokemon only has a couple of relevant checks in the format. Those Pokemon that aren't restricted that actually check it are Incineroar, Landorus, Urshifu, Volcarona, and Stakataka, which you can see on screen here. These are one of the most, or these are some of the most common uh, checks to this Pokemon that aren't restricted Pokemon. Obviously, this thing does not want to face Calyrex Shadow Rider because it will be absolutely bodied by Astral Barrage, and obviously it can't be taking a hit from Tapu Lele with Shadow Ball if they're packing that. But these Pokemon, these non-restricted Pokemon, are pretty much the extent of what you can expect to see when it comes to Pokemon that you'll see on a team that can actually take on Shedinja and KO it with a super effective move. Now, what is a running theme here? Incineroar, Fire-type, Landorus, Ground-type, Urshifu, Abysmal, Special Defense, Volcarona, Fire-type, and Stack Attacka, uh, Rock-type. Do we notice any particular Pokemon in this format that can absolutely annihilate these Pokemon? Yes, that is Kyogre. You will typically see Kyogre on a team with Shedinja. Now, a standard Kyogre team with Shedinja on it tends to look like this. It's going to be Tornadus, Kyogre, probably some kind of grass type, either Rillaboom or Zarina. I'm personally on the Zarina train. Shedinja itself and Incineroar and an electric type right now that's typically Regieleki. So, what you can actually do when you're playing Shedinja is focus on one particular win con, and of course that's the Shedinja win con. You want to take care of every possible Pokemon that can deal with Shedinja uh, with your Kyogre. Now that being said, there aren't very many Pokemon on any particular team that can deal with Shedinja. In fact, most of the time it's going to be limited to some kind of rock coverage move on another Pokemon and just the Incineroar that's very common on most teams. For example, if we take a look at a Xerneas team, Usually the only things on the Xerneas team that can deal with this Shedinja are going to be the Incineroar, the uh, Landorus, and the uh, Volcarona, which obviously if you have the Kyogre, you can absolutely one-shot those things. And once those things are gone, that's when the fun with Shedinja actually occurs, because that final Pokemon on the team that you'll likely see, the Xerneas, cannot damage it. On screen right now are going to be four restricted Pokemon that you'll see commonly within this metagame, and the thing that they have in common is, on their standard sets, they cannot touch Shedinja. Zacian Crown usually tends to run only two attacking moves, being Behemoth Blade and some kind of fighting coverage. Kyogre tends to run Thunder, Ice Beam, and Water moves like Water Spout and Origin Pulse and Scald. Xerneas literally only runs Fairy moves, and Calyrex Ice tends to run Steel, Ground, Fighting, and Ice moves. None of these Pokemon can touch Shedinja. So you just play to that win con of Shedinja being the last thing in the field. 
On top of that, Shininja can actually make this uh, little journey, this little win condition that you're playing for, a little bit easier by supporting the team with some pretty interesting moves. Now, Ally Switch is one of the most annoying moves in the game, but I would say if there's any Pokemon in the game that deserves to have Ally Switch, it's got to be Shedinja. Now, the reason Shedinja is such a phenomenal Ally Switch user is because it doesn't rely on its speed stat to use this move, since it's always going to be, uh, was it plus three priority? Maybe plus two, I forget. But that will allow Shedinja to swap places with another Pokemon on its team. And while typically an Ally Switch user will just take the hit better than the other Pokemon, Shedinja most of the time will only be ally switching in the face of something that it won't take any damage from. So let's say hypothetically you have a stack attack next to your Shedinja and you think that the opponent's going to call the wide guard so they're just going to go ahead and scald into the stack attack. Well lo and behold you can go ahead and ally switch, switch around those two Pokemon, get the Shedinja in front of that scald, allow your stack attack to take no damage this turn while Shedinja literally takes nothing at all and then you get the trick room off and all of a sudden you're a little bit more threatening with that stack attack. Shedinja enables its partners to be like as powerful as they are. On top of that, while many Pokemon could hypothetically wall out Shedinja, what you can actually run is Will-O-Wisp. Now Will-O-Wisp is really useful for supporting the team. For example, if you're facing off versus a Zacian and a Regieleki, which is a pretty common lead, those two Pokemon, barring the Regieleki isn't running some kind of strange ancient power set, can't touch the Shedinja. So Shedinja is free to throw off a Will-O-Wisp in that Zacian's direction, Pretty much for free, there's nothing it can do. Now Shedinja does have its weaknesses. While that Will-O-Wisp is very useful for supporting the team and it does cut the damage output, Shedinja can only survive two hits maximum, granted you put a Focus Sash on it, but it will be one-shot by other moves. If the opponent happens to be running Toxic, that will one-shot Shedinja. If the opponent has Will-O-Wisp, that will one-shot Shedinja. Leech Seed, anything like that, one-shot Shedinja. And if you just so happen to be facing the rare Hail or Sand players in a restricted format, once again, that's going to one-shot your Shedinja since you can't really afford to run safety goggles on this guy when Focus Sash allows you that slight bit of leeway to sort of prod your opponent, figure out where the rock coverage move is. Now, obviously Shedinja isn't the most flawless Pokemon of all time, but I wanted to make this brief video just explaining what it does in the format and why it's so useful. Essentially, it's just a Pokemon you play for a win condition with, and then you go for a Will-O-Wisp on things, support the team, ally switch, be a complete nuisance, and just play for that win condition. It's such a it's such a crazy Pokemon, but yeah, I figured it would be a fun little thing to explore for this video. What really made it come to mind was I actually hosted a sub tournament today, and the second place team uh, was actually Brain's team. He's a subscriber of mine. And he ran Shedinja, and it was a complete nuisance for all of his opponents, and I just had such a great time watching his matches. So yeah, if you guys encounter a Shedinja, I just want you to know what it does, why it's actually kind of great on Kyogre teams, why it has such great synergy, and why you should probably be using it on your Kyogre teams. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this brief video, do me a favor, leave a like on it, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications, because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword and Shield content, answer my comment question of the day, let's shoot for 200 likes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!